most of us are more or less interested in knowing whether or not our consciousness will continue to exist, will persist after the physical death. The question of whether consciousness survives after the brain dies, or rather dies with it too, has probably been a question that billions of human beings all throughout the human history have asked themselves. As a matter of fact, we invented all sorts of gods, deities, faiths and beliefs out of this matter. And yet, we still don't know exactly what consciousness is, nor do we know where it originates from. One thing we never ever ask ourselves is what are the contents of our individual consciousness and what are the most common and typical contents of human consciousness in general and also historically speaking. Consequentially, we never even ask ourselves the following question. Since many of us are so ardently prone to desire that even the contents of our consciousness will continue after death, then why are we not interested in inquiring seriously and introspectively into those contents? The will to gain power and visibility, for example, is among these contents. The inclination to protect comfort or to protect our ideas of psychological security are among these contents. A general dissatisfaction, fear, the tendency to tell lies, contradictions of all kinds and all the rest of it are also among these contents of human consciousness, both in general and subjectively. Would we like these contents to continue as well after we die? Would we also like this constant desire for continuity to continue, with all of its dogmas, beliefs, biases. Do we want our conditioning to continue as well, after we die? Why are we not interested in these questions? Or are we rather more inclined to inquire into these contents of consciousness, instead of trying to understand what consciousness is? and whether it will continue to live or not.